Twitter. And I had to share this with you today because it's something that, um, something I see happen all the time for women, for entrepreneurs, for creatives. And I just realized this morning that I was doing it myself over the last couple of days. And I'm like, seriously, seriously falling back into the old trap. Um, so I have to share this with you guys because it's, it shifts your cells and the number of clients and cash and all of that so quickly um, that I just have to share this with you guys. So excited to tell it to you, share more. I'm looking at my headset in so I know that we're not being distracted by anything. I've got the door open, so letting the fresh air in, but there's lots of birds and goodness out there too. Okay, so let me know when you're here. Let me know if you're joining live or when you're watching the replay later. Let me know. Go ahead and drop that in the comments. Um, let me know who is here. Say hi. I also love to hear where you're joining from. That's always so fun to see what an amazing global community we have here. I'm just going to make sure everything's showing up over on Facebook. Awesome. And I can see comments. I was having this issue with my, my turned on rich and free ladies. Um, earlier this week, I couldn't see any of the comments. So yay comments. Awesome. Who all is here? Say hi as you hop on. Drop a little something lovely over in the comments there. And if you want to, let me know where you're joining from. Let me know where you're joining from so we can see what a lovely global community we have here and where everyone's from. Okay, let me make sure that you guys can see this and we will get started. I'm, I'm really excited to go through what we're going to go through today because I honestly consistently, there's like one main thing and about three things total that I see that stops cells, pushes cells away. And I see it happen over and over and over again. Um, and when I work with my clients in Turned On Rich and Free Academy, and now that my inner circle with my pri is open, just open, woo! Um, the link's up above if you are interested in working with me one-to-one. -one. I'm opening just a limited number of spots for that at the moment. So if it's something you're interested in, definitely message me. Link's up above in the description. Um, I'll be sharing a little bit more about that later too. And if you have any questions, definitely um, drop them here in the comments. Um, but there's really a couple things I see consistently be the reason that we, we don't receive the sales that we want. And pretty much none of them have anything to do with marketing. So that is a misconception that, well, if my subject line was better, or if I would have followed my three-step launch sequence a little better, or if I'd picked a different topic for my webinar, that's totally what it was. Like, no, it's not. It's not any of that stuff. Um, there's, there's one main thing. I was doing it this week, and I knew something was off, and I just couldn't quite put my finger on it. Um, and this, between last night and this morning, it was like, it clicked. I was like, Oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this again. This is exactly what's going on. And I know that it's so, so super common that I want to make sure that you guys aren't doing it in your business because it just, it kills sales fast and it makes you feel like nothing's working and frustrated. And am I doing this wrong? And is everything going to fall apart and all of that chaos? So as you guys hop on, awesome. I see a lot more of you are on here now. Say hi over in the comments and then drop in the comments where you're joining from. Where are you joining in from today? And I just want to make sure that this has gotten shared to all of the good places all over to my group and everything awesome we are live cool looks like you guys can see me hey amy christy my california girl amy my other california girl angel remind me where you're at annabelle is in new zealand right lovely maybe this is the game maybe i get to guess I get to try to remember where everyone's from. Kina, so good to see you. It's been way too long, lovely lady. More of that California goodness. Attracting all the California ladies. Hi, queen. Oh, thank you. You look stunning as well. Your new photos are gorgeous, lady. I love the, well, I love the yellow dress, and I love the one with the flowers. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Hey, Jen, good to see you. Oh, I just saw someone. Where did you go, Maggie? From Durango, I love Durango, Maggie. One of my favorite places. Love, 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 love Southwest um, Colorado. I'll be down there next month for Telluride Bluegrass Festival. Cannot wait to be down there. Okay, cool. It looks like everything's rocking and rolling, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here in just a second. Let me just make sure I hadn't actually hopped on Facebook yet because I get distracted by the comments so quickly. Um, I just wanna make sure it's gotten shared over to my Facebook group. And as I do that, if you're just hopping on, because I've seen the numbers go up here, if you hadn't, haven't said hi yet, definitely say hi um, so I can see that you're here. And then tell me where you're from if you haven't dropped that in the comments yet either. Okay. Perfect. Looks like we're live. Awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Christy? Yeah, you guys need to have an OC party, see? Yeah. Awesome, guys. 
Oh my gosh, this is adorable. <laughs> I just watched you guys like meet up with each other in the comments. That's so much fun. Jen, I'm loving your clarity here. I'm creating so many changes already. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm just obsessed with Clarity Care. I'm so happy for all of you guys who grabbed a copy of it when it was on the flash sale earlier this month. And just like it, the messages I get every day, you know, Clarity Care was one of those things. It was the first time that I really started teaching from what was my truth and not just like what I thought I should be talking about and what I thought people wanted and just all the marketing and structure and stuff I talked about in the past, which I enjoy as well for sure. But Clarity Care is the first time that I really went in depth with the energetic side of it. And it's by far like it and the Massive Money Program are the most successful programs I ever created. And of course, because they're all flow and energy and the stuff that's really important and the stuff that actually gets results, right? So I love to hear that. Awesome, Mike. Oh, Maggie, you got it too? Yes. Oh, I love it. And it's rocking your world. Love, love, love. Oh, thank you, Jocelyn. Yeah. I was last week. I was like, I need some jewels. I need to be dripping in jewels. So like I went and bought a bunch of like <laughs> cheap, like antique style jewelry. Loving it. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get started. Tennessee. Awesome. Angel. I, I knew you were South, but I couldn't remember where exactly. So as you guys hop on and, and more people join, go ahead and say hi and all of that goodness and let me know where you're joining from. But I want to talk about this piece first. So this is like the biggest thing that I consistently see cause driven, visionary, legendary, unstoppable women entrepreneurs from getting the results they want. Um, I'm going to go through probably a couple different layers of what I see actually block women from receiving cash and clients and all of that goodness. But there's one big thing and I was doing it myself this week. So we all fall culprit to it. Is that the right word? We all, it all happens. It happens to all of us at times. And here's what it comes down to. When you put something out, you need to be so sold on it already that it's not even a question of whether other people will buy it. Okay. So the biggest issue that I see people do consistently and why they're not getting the results they want and they're not getting the sales they want. And I don't care if it's a group program, a course, a high level one-on-one -on -one, or anything in between is because we put stuff out waiting to see what people's response is instead of putting instead of deciding already that it's sold out, right? And I was doing it this week as well. So here's what happened. I knew that I, I've known for like weeks now that I've been wanting to put out some sort of high level inner circle that kind of goes along with my Turned On Rich and Free Academy. Um, I love and adore Turned On Rich and Free Academy. It is everything. I'm in there like all the time and love working with my academy ladies. But I knew I wanted like the next level, like that, that next level piece for those who are really wanting that like hands-on support. But I, guys, I should have my journal here. Um, the number of different styles of the inner circle program that I have like brainstormed and written out and edited and know there should be this many sessions and all of that over the last like three weeks is absurd. Like I wish, yeah, I wish I had my, my journal here with me because I would show you guys like, this is where I think people are not spending enough time. We spend so much time trying to figure out the perfect marketing, but we don't actually get clear on if what we're offering is most aligned offer, the, the offer that we're most excited about, the offer that we're like, of course that's going to sell out. Not only is it going to sell out, like, yeah, it's already sold out because it's that good. And I could already see myself working with the clients in this way. And it's like, you've got to be in that pure energetic space, right? And I was swinging in and out of it. And even when I finally officially opened up at the beginning of this week, I was like, okay, okay, I'm doing this like six month one-on-one um, -on -one piece, but it's kind of like the Academy, but it has voice and text messaging. Like it still just didn't have the energy yet. And that confused energy was not fun for me. Uh, my husband last night, we didn't really get in a fight, but it was definitely like, he's like, uh, your energy the last two days, like, like it has not been what it's normally been because I've been second guessing myself on like what goes into this program. What is it supposed to look like? And here's the thing. If you are second guessing yourself at all about your actual program, it's like not even worth putting it out there at the moment because nothing is going to happen with it. Right? Like, yes, I've been getting lovely people messaging me who are interested, but I wasn't sold on it yet. And so last night um, is when things started to shift for me. And I was like, Oh, I know what I want this to look like. I know where the blocks have been coming up. I know what the fears have been. Ah, yes, I know what's going on here. And I got up this morning, got the same damn notebook and all the other 
series that I've written in uh, up at this point of like what this looks like, this program, sat down and I was like, how do I love to work right now? How do I, what do I love most about what I'm doing? How do I most want to work with my clients right now? How do I most want to serve? What does that look like? What does that feel like? I dug into that a little bit deeper. And of course, what happened is it's like the entire program poured out of me. And really, 90% of the program already existed. There was like one little shift that needed to happen that was like, how many sessions do I want to include for my inner circle? And like, but that one thing was like the thorn in my side type of thing. It was the one thing that was keeping it from feeling as aligned as I know it could. And once that shifted and there was just this like, oh yes, yes, like that. That's how it looks. This is how it feels. This is how many people I can see in this right now. And I can see myself getting up every morning and I check my messages for my one-on-one clients and I'm so excited. And we're just having these amazing conversations. They're having these massive breakthroughs and like the results of course are epic, epic, epic. Like all of that started to click and then suddenly all the fear and the doubt and how do I sell this and what do I need to do, of course drained away because then I knew it was done. It was done. And so then I was affirming, of course, like the 10 spots are already sold out. There's this many spots. This is how it feels. I'm working with the most epic soulmate clients. They reach out to me. All of that just synced. And suddenly it was no longer, what email should I send out? How do I sell it? How do I market it? Because it was done. And this is the biggest issue that I see come up consistently for for my clients, for my community, and I'm guessing it's come up for you at times as well. And here's what it is. We put something together that we think sounds good, that we think that we like, and we put it out there, but we're putting it out there to see how people respond, and then depending how people respond affects how we continue to show up or what we market or how we put it out there or even completely changing the program altogether. Who's done that before? Who's put out a course or a program or an offer and then is kind of waited to see what the response is before you really jump in 100%? Tell me in the comments, have you ever done that? I'm going to look at the comments real quickly because there's so many awesome ones pouring in here. Has this been something that you've done before? You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm super excited about this. This feels really good. I'm just going to put it out there and there's going to be lots of sales. And then like deep in your mind, you don't really believe it, right? Has anyone done this? Hey, Brooke, Melissa, Courtney, of course, yeah. <laughs> Megan, absolutely. It's, it's where you spend the most of the time, I can relate. Yeah, it's where I spend the most of my time, honestly, is in writing out these programs and aligning. I spend the majority of my time in my business aligning and journaling and aligning back to the energy and how do I want to feel and what do I want to put out and what feels really good to me. Because here's what I know. When you are in alignment, it doesn't freaking matter what you do. Like the program will sell out. And we so often think that it's like the energetic side of it. When you are already in the space of like, you know, this is the best program that's ever been created and there's no way for it not to sell out, it sells out over and over and over again. Hey, Stephanie, powerful. Yeah, love your transparency and how you implement into productivity. For sure. And you know, here's the other thing of it. You guys can see here, things don't always work. And I know that if things don't always work, it's not because there's anything wrong with, I know it's not my marketing. I'm not energetically aligned. Something's off there and that's what I've got to figure out, right? And so I'm upfront and transparent with you guys about this because I know you go through the same things. I talk to so many of you on a daily basis and so many of you are just rock star clients. I know that you go through the same things. At the same time, what is my marketing? My marketing is my life. So basically my job is to, when things don't work, tell you about them. <laughs> like that's. That's how my business works, right? And to turn that into sales and turn that into income and turn that into impacting more and more people. That's all the more complicated that online marketing ever needs to be, right? And if anyone tells you differently, they are confused. True. Oh yeah, I've totally done that. Exactly. This is so common. We're like, okay, yeah, I need to put something out because I need to be selling something because I have this income goal this month. So I probably should be selling something, right? And that's, that's the beginning of not being in alignment that we think that the thing that we sell is directly related to us hitting our income goal versus being in the space of, no, I know what, if you know that you're the woman who is already making 10K, 20K, 50 or 100K a month, you don't even really set goals, right? Because why would you set a goal if you knew it was already done? Do you get what I'm saying? This is something I realized yesterday when one of my clients was asking about some goal setting. And I was like, I kind of set goals. I'm trying to see if there's a little kid watching me on my Facebook live through his window. 
Oh, no, I think it's balloons. Okay. I can see, like, the house across the street. And I'm like, oh, got a beeping dom. I'm fully dressed. I promise I'm dressed. I'm not, like, naked halfway down. But just checking things out here. But we so often do this, right? We're, like, we come up with our programs to hit our income goals because that's how it works because step by step by step. And I'm here to tell you that's not how it works. It's not how it works. You make your income goals part of your identity and then you create your programs that you want to offer. Because interestingly enough, if you were the woman who was already making 10K, 50K or 100K a month, you'd be a lot more relaxed about what you were putting out because you wouldn't feel the pressure, right? And so anytime that we're feeling this like tight in our chest pressure and I've got to figure this out, it's because we're not in complete alignment. We're not living our truth. We've fallen back into fear. And then you're making decisions out of fear instead of out of love. So this is exactly what was happening, happening with putting out my six month one-on-one, my inner circle is I was still in the space of like, I want to do this. I know this is going to be amazing, but I hadn't got myself into the full energetic space of how it feels and of it already being done. And so it was, I was second guessing it on a daily basis, not second guessing so much whether it would sell a little bit of that, but more so second guessing, is this the right program? Should I be doing something else? Should it be like trying to figure that out? And we've all been there and that's no fun. And then I got up this morning and I was like, oh, I know what's going on. I haven't made a decision. I haven't made a decision. I have put it out there and I have been waiting to see what the responses are. And then I'm going to like move forward from there. And that is the quickest way to kill your cells. Quickest way to kill your cells is to put something out and be like, well, let's see how it works. Hopefully it's good. No, it's never going to be good if you're coming at it from that space. So here's what has to shift. First of all, you need to only put programs, offers, and whatever out that you're selling that you are like madly in love with, like obsessed with, obsessed with. That was the first thing I wasn't doing. I'd put together the inner circle, but I hadn't got myself into the energetic space of what does this mean? And so this morning, I just felt it in my body as I thought of it. And that, that's how it needs to be. Now, when I think about my inner circle, it's like, oh, it totally turns me on. It's so sexy. It's so sexy. Like, I can just see it. I can see just getting up and the connection that I have with the women who decide to work with me at this level and having these daily conversations over voice and text messenger and getting on their sessions. And when I get off of our sessions together, we are, you know, both sides are just so energized. And then we have all kinds of VIP days that are coming up and getting to meet in person and like, oh my God, finally getting to meet in person and jumping up and down and toasting and laughing and just being surrounded by the freaking coolest, badass women on the planet who are up to mass massively epic things who of course are getting massive results because it's so funny. I haven't been sharing the results my academy ladies have been getting. I don't know why I keep being like, oh yeah, I need to do that. I like take screenshots of their testimonials and stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah, I should share that. I got on a call yesterday with one of my turned on rich and free ladies. And she'd had this idea for a mastermind that came out of nowhere. Um, and she's just getting started with her business this spring. She's just starting her business, had an idea for a mastermind, put it out within 24 hours, one of the spots sold. And the part she hadn't told me is it was $7,500 is how much she was charging at that point. And during our session yesterday, um, she'd increased the price and we're like, look, it's more, isn't it? It's, there's more that you're meant to step into. And so by the end of our call, she's just getting started in her mastermind that she's already sold a spot to that was $7,500 is now like a $17,000 mastermind. And I'm like, okay, cool. These are the kind of clients I like to work. The kind of clients who inspire me to get my own shit together at times to be like, oh, my new clients are charging 17,000 for their packages. Okay. Okay. I can, I can pull it together and be a grown up in the situation um, and come back into alignment and get clear on what my true desire is. So now that I know how that feels now, all of this, is easy because to me, my inner circle's already sold out, right? I haven't even checked messages since I've shifted into the space. One, because I've been doing other things and getting things together, but also because now there's no sense of, well, I need to check messages. I got to get spots sold. I'm like, no, spots are already sold. I'm opening 10 spots um, for total visionary women who want to work with me at this level. It's six months of unlimited one-on-one -on -one voice and text messaging, monthly sessions, monthly um, mastermind calls. There's VIP events. We actually, if you're interested, uh, for one of the bonuses I'm putting out there is we have a high roller VIP day that's happening um, May 22nd in Vegas. And for any of my inner circles who sign up, you get complimentary access because you're my VIPs. You get access to everything. So it, this is the biggest piece that I want you to take home. You need to be so obsessed with your packages that when you put them out, 
you already know they're sold out instead of waiting to see what happens. That's the biggest thing. And I watched myself not do that over the last couple of days. And now that I've shifted, that's the cool thing. It's awareness. Now that I've shifted, I'm like, oh yes, oh yes. I don't have to wait a certain amount of time. I don't have to anything. It's not like, well, this is going to take a while now. I'm like, no, it's done. It's done. I can see it be done this weekend. I can see the spots being sold out before the beginning of the week because that's how it is. And so it's once we make that decision, everything shifts and everything gets so much easier. Okay. So any questions on that first piece, any questions about like, this is the biggest block. This is the biggest thing that kills cells is putting something out, but still, this is the best way to put it is like putting something out, but still kind of leaning back. Like if this doesn't work, it's okay. Versus like fully jumping into the pool. This is one of the reasons that when people put out group programs, it triggers the shit out of them because when you're just doing one-on-one, it's safe, right? If you're just doing one-on-one, no one knows if you didn't sell any of them. If you're doing a group program and two people sign up and no one else signs up, those people know, right? And so that's what it, why it triggers us so much. And so you've got to be all in all the time with everything you're doing or don't do it at all. It will kill your cells. Okay. Any questions on this? Any questions about the inner circle too? If you guys have any questions on that, like I said, it just officially opened in the form that it's now in because it hasn't been in this form until like this morning. Um, but you can just click the, the messenger link over there in the description of above in the description. It'll send you over um, to my messenger and you can just ask me any questions there or just let me know you want the details and I'll send them over to you. All right, guys, give me all the details. What's going on here? Any questions anywhere you need support? Any questions about working together one-on-one? Um, let me dive into your, your comments here. I did see there was a question that came in a little bit ago from one of my, so there's two things going on. I've turned on Rich and Free Academy. And they have turned on rich and free inner circle. Um, inner circle is what includes one-on-one time with me. And for some of my academy ladies, I know you guys had reached out about how does that work if you want to be an inner circle. Um, I'll message you back for any of you who, who have messaged me about that that I haven't gotten to yet. But basically what happens is we just apply your investment to it. So you're not out anything. I would, wouldn't do that. We just apply what you've invested at this point and we just upgrade you. And then you get six months starting now. So basically yeah, the last month is kind of a bonus because that's how we roll, right? All right. Any questions here? Yes. I feel like I lean back a little and see if anyone is interested. Exactly. And what I'm asking you to do and queen, I'm never going to let you off the hook of this, of this. Your name is queen. Like your job is to fully claim your Royal space on this planet. It's like your name. You have to, as does everyone else on here as well. But that's the biggest thing. When you claim your spot, when you appoint yourself, one of the top experts and top leaders, no matter what your sales look like or what your business looks like at that point, that level of confidence and that level of energy is what your ideal clients are looking for. And if you can embody that, it doesn't matter what's going on with your business up to this point, you will see a shift and it happens so quickly. Um, like I was saying, I expect now that, now that I've shifted into this energy, these spots will sell out fast. I've opened up 10 spots for my, my inner circle for my highest level of coaching. And I'm like, yeah, I could easily see these sell out over the weekend. Not just I could easily see these sell out over the weekend. Like why, why not? Why not just decide that? Decide that they're sold out. Decide that three plus are selling out today and that I get to connect with those women. And it's not just about the sales. It's about the energy of what happens afterwards, right? So part of the reason that I'm not even that concerned about the sales is I'm ready to jump into the work. I'm ready to meet these people. I'm excited to have them come meet me in Vegas in a couple of weeks for a high roller VIP day. Like why don't we choose to let it be epic now instead of making up all these rules for how long it has to take and what we have to do to be successful? Now, here's the other thing. I have not set up any rules around I have to do some complicated webinar or run a Facebook ad series or set up a funnel for this to be successful. No, here's what I'm going to do. I shifted my energy and I chose and I aligned to it. So already the majority of the quote work is done. I already know that ideal people are reaching out to me now because that's what I've decided. Going forward, how do I want to launch and sell this? In the easiest, funnest way possible. Well, what does that look like for me? Um, probably have my team do a couple social media posts. I'll share posts as it feels good. I sent out an email this morning that was super simple, letting everyone know doors were open and I'm doing a Facebook live. Like it doesn't need to be any more complicated than this. Okay. Nothing complicated is happening in my marketing here. Jed, I've realized hardly anyone else is working this way. Yes. And now I see other coaches. My brain goes blah. <laughs> 
Yes. Oh my gosh. I wish it's on my screen here. Um, Stephanie, I don't know if Stephanie's still here. She is in uh, Turned On Rich and Free. And she put this message in the group the other day. She's like, why doesn't anyone else know this? Why doesn't anyone else know that this is how it, how it works? She's like, I feel like I need to share this with everyone. And I'm like, right? That's pretty much what my business has turned into this year is I'm like, what? It has been this easy all along and we've made it this complicated and thought we had to do all these stupid, complicated things. And exactly what you said, Jen, I have no hard feelings to any other coaches out there. I know that we're all on our own journey and I send nothing but love to every single person. And having said that, I would not hire them. Like I would not hire anyone that's like pushing specific strategy and marketing down my throat and saying that this is what you have to do to be successful because now I know it's not true. And I know that if something doesn't feel good to me, that it will never work in the way that it's supposed to. And really, really what matters most is how big is your faith? What do you think that you deserve and giving yourself permission to have that? That's the most important piece. There's a couple other ways that we can end up blocking ourselves from sales as well. Blocking ourselves from sales as well. So I'm very similar. Um, and I'll jump into the comments here. So if you guys have any questions as we're going, go ahead and drop them over here. Any questions about like how to use this in your business, how to come into alignment, um, or just share your ahas, breakthroughs, all that. Love those too. And if you're interested in working together one-on-one, um, -on -one, message me. The link is there. I'm fully committed to only soulmate dream clients. And so really the people who typically work with me are the ones who are like, I don't even totally know why, but my heart says yes. So I'm in because that's what it is. Like it's all magic anyways, guys. That's who we are. Oh my gosh. The tarot card I pulled this morning was so good. Um, it was the two of wands. And when I pulled it, it was basically around like, what's the next step to take to now easily fill the spots for my inner circle. Um, and when I saw the two of wands to me, the first thing that came to mind was like, use your magic. Obviously it's a wands card. Use your magic. But then what the card read was basically like, now that you focused your goal, your success is, is imminent. And it's like, yep, exactly what I'm saying, tarot card. You and me are on the same page. Like once you focus your goal, once you've decided it's done, success is imminent. That's really all the more complicated it ever needs to get, okay? Such a great shift in thinking for sure. And this is the work. The work isn't figuring out the funnel or growing your email list or whatever other strategy thing. And yes, grow your email list. Do the things that feel good to you, but don't expect those to be the solution. The solution is this. The solution is the energy. The solution is alignment over and over and over again. And then even like me, just having $106,000 a month, you're still going to slip out of it and second guess yourself. And then you got to align again. And it's the same thing over and over and over again. I've been telling my clients this so much lately in terms of it's not new level, new devil. It's new level, same old shit. <laughs> like that's really how it goes. It's like, oh, new level. Okay. And probably some new problems. Nope. Same things. Will anyone like me? Will my stuff sell? Why isn't it selling? Are people going to say mean things? Same old broken record. And you just get better and better at being more and more aware of these and being able to adjust them and shift them and shift out of them faster and faster. Like it literally took me earlier this week, actually. So when I first put out my, my inner circle, I was like second guessing the price. And then within 24 hours, I went from second guessing the price to being bored with it, to feeling like it should be a hundred thousand dollars. It's not, it's not a hundred thousand dollar program, but that's what I'm noticing these days. Like using the, the energetic alignment tools that I've been teaching you guys and teaching my clients and the way that we work at this point, it does feel like magic a little bit. It is magic. Um, which is fine. Use that magic. But the thing was, is it like literally took me 24 to 48 hours this week to shift something that I spent majority of last year stuck in. And now I get why it's so, so, so important to surround yourself with the energy that you're wanting to go to. Just surround yourself with a level of support that you know is going to get you there so much faster than anything else. And that's what it's all about. Are you making your decisions from love or fear? Are you putting that, if you're putting a package out from fear, hoping that someone buys it, waiting to see what happens, and then depending on what happens, using that to judge yourself in some way, you're not in your highest state, right? You're not in your highest state. And your people, your ideal soulmate dream clients, let alone what you want, all want your highest space, your highest state. That's where you're like energized and excited and peaceful and everything just feels good. And you don't feel pressure to do anything. Like guys, let me, let me give you a quick breakdown of my marketing today. Now that, um, 
now that I decided because the deciding work was the real work. And once I made a decision, I went ahead and did my journaling and my I am writing and shifting into the space of now I'm, I'm starting to shift into the woman who now makes 150K, 200K, 300K months. So I'm, I'm starting to allow myself to shift into what does that feel like? Um, and so that was the alignment practice and journaling I was doing this morning and then checked income and all of that because that's what I do first thing in the morning. And then I wrote my email letting everyone know that one-on-one is now open from a space of total this is already sold out-ness because that's what attracts it. That's what creates it. Um, after I did that... I think I checked emails. I'm like, I did a couple work things briefly, but then proceeded to sit down on the couch and watch TV for an hour and eight cheese. <laughs> and then I was like, you still really want to do a Facebook Live. You should take a shower. So I did, and I fixed my hair for the first time this week. And now here I am with you. And when we're done, I'm going to hang out with my ladies and my groups for a little bit and answer some questions. Um, and then I'll probably watch some more TV. I'm not normally into TV this much. Um, I'm just kind of enjoying watching E at the moment. Does anyone else watch the arrangement? I kind of like it. I don't know why. I don't know why. And then I have a massage, and that is my day. And that is my day. And that is all the more complicated I choose for it to be. Oh, I'll probably send out the replay of this to my list, too. So you guys can see the marketing is really complicated um, to make 100K months. Totally all marketing, right? None of it's your mindset. Oh, my God. I see that I've done that. For sure, Pernell. It's super common. I was doing it too. The thing is just to catch yourself with it. Catch yourself with it. Hey, Siska. Yes. Okay, Jen. Another coach I follow said something that made me feel like I need to sugarcoat my message a bit at first until people are ready to hear, i.e. they can't hear when you go full on to the real message. Oh, no, no, no. Lots of them can't hear. Yeah. Majority of the population is just like going to think you're an alien. I've actually had a past client say that the other, it was a couple, uh, I think it was like a month ago on my Facebook live. She didn't mean it as a mean thing. She was like, I just don't even understand what you're saying. It's like alien talk. And it is. So that's going to happen, Jen. Um, when you speak your truth, you're going to trigger people. And I realize that now. I, I, but you trigger people in one of two ways. You either trigger them in a way that they're like, she's crazy. I don't even know what she's talking about. I can't be around this. Or you trigger them in a way that they're like, finally, someone is speaking to my soul and I've been looking for you my whole life. I don't even care what you're offering. Sign me up. I'm in. Right? That's what happens when you stop the sugarcoating. When you're sugarcoating your message and trying to make it like not so edgy, like let's just, you know, file down those edges a little bit. Let's make it a little softer so we don't offend anyone. When you're doing that, you will never attract soulmate dream clients. And the reason being is because you aren't being yourself. And so you are attracting the people who are into that slightly softer version of you that's not too in my faceness, right? Boring, 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 boring. I did it so much. I got to work with amazing clients. Um, I mean, this is coming into five years of my business. So I've worked with amazing clients. I've also worked with not ideal soulmate clients who I would dread seeing their names in my calendar and like, can we please just dissolve their contracts? Give them all the money back. I don't want to work with them. Um, that's because I wasn't being myself. That's because I wasn't showing up. That's because I was sugarcoating my message, right? Stop. <laughs> We are starting a revolution of truth, of setting the rules on fire, of living completely free, of knowing that when you are the truest, most authentic, vulnerable, transparent, goofy, strange, weird version of you, that your soulmate people are like, yes, please, where have you been hiding? I feel like I'm sinking. <laughs> oh, wait, that pillow is actually in the camera. Let's steal this pillow. Do, 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 do. Okay, but so happy you pointed this out. And that's the thing, Jen, is like, I don't have any hard feelings to anyone or anyone that I've worked with as a coach either, like, or any past clients who are doing things, no hard feelings anywhere. It really comes down to you being the truest version of you. And you are the only one who knows that. And part of that comes from being a, an aware client as well, to never go into a coaching relationship, expecting your coach to save you or expecting your coach to make you money. That's not how it works. I don't expect my coach to make me money. That's my own damn responsibility. What I expect to happen in a coaching relationship, I expect my coach to hold the energy of truth and the next level and help me remember who I actually am and inspire me to go much bigger than I was even dreaming myself and 
help me to step into that space. That is my coach's responsibility, not to make me money. And so when we start to put these responsibilities on the wrong place and we're like, the coach will get this figured out. That's the other time that we start booking or working with clients or working with coaches who aren't a good fit. Anyone who tells you that they can guarantee that you're going to make a certain amount of money or that their system absolutely a bajillion percent works, I would be hesitant. I would be hesitant. The thing is, is what I do is in a system. What I do is help you reconnect to who you actually are. And of course, who you are always knows the next step. Your soul knows everything to do. There's so much goodness. Let me, I was writing this morning. This is one of my journals. I also have multiple journals. Your results, this might be backwards. No, it might be right away. Your results are in direct relation to your level of faith. That's actually what this should have been called. Is this backwards? It looks not backwards to me. Your results are in direct relation to your level of faith every single time. So if you are second guessing yourself, your clients are second guessing whether they should work with you as well. That I just, that's the freaking only thing that we should have talked about on this call. I should have just held this page up and we should have just soaked this in. I have to hold it up again because that is everything, everything, everything. Your results are a direct relation to your level of faith. If you are second guessing yourself, your audience is second guessing you. If you're not sure if things are going to work, your audience isn't really sure if they want to work with you. If you aren't showing up fully and fully backing yourself in some way, your people aren't going to show up fully. That's what it comes down to more than anything. And so how do you get into that level of faith and faith and alignment? It's a practice and being around an energy of someone who actually believes it so that you can like borrow their faith is so freaking potent. And it's the whole reason that I'm doing this work. It's the whole reason that I created even the inner circle, because just to be totally honest with you guys, from like a marketing and business perspective, you could shift your business. I could shift my business to be solely like courses and passive income and evergreen programs and membership sites that pretty much remove me from the situation and be hitting my hundred K a month or whatever it is that I desire, because that's just an identity, whatever, however much I want to make. I do packages like turned on rich and free Academy. And I have, um, I'm putting out my inner circle not because it's like, that's going to be the big money maker. Not that it's not going to bring an income to my business. Of course, but it's more about the passion and it's more about the revolution and it's more about the shift and it's more about knowing that literally the 10 women that I'm going to be working with for the next six months are going to create such a massive ripple effect and get this message out there so far and wide that it's going to create a global shift. If you don't feel that way about your program, set them on fire and create something new. That's the only reason I'm doing any of this. I don't ever put out a program to make money. My programs make money, absolutely, but that's not why I'm doing it, right? Your level of success, your level of income, the, the way that a program sells and is in direct relation to your faith. Basically, you need to be fully sold on it first. Louise, let's see. Yeah, go ahead and drop questions, guys. Give me all the good stuff. What if you have a group program that's due to start next and have only sold half the spots because of what you talked about? You have a couple options with it, Louise. So for me at this point, I rarely do programs that close because I don't like the, that pressure. I like, I like open enrollment. I'm a big fan of open enrollment. Um, so majority of like my membership group programs, anything that I've done these days, they all have open enrollment rather than being, um, a specific like start and end time. I'm also I just work that way more, I guess. So that's one thing you could do. You could shift it to an open enrollment. You could just kick it off right away, Louise, but then you could continue to come into alignment with the program, continue to market the program as it feels good and fill spots on your own agenda, right? Um, the other thing that you could do is, here's something else to check in with because what I've shared could definitely be one reason that you're, you're being blocked with the cells. That's usually the big one is like, we're waiting for the results to happen and then we'll feel good enough instead of choosing to feel like total badass rock stars who are changing the world right now. And then of course our stuff sells out. The other reason is I see this happen a lot with group programs. And I used to do this too, is we push away cells because we're afraid it's going to be a lot of work. 
And so however many people you've had sign up to your program at this point um, is either because we've been waiting for something to happen instead of fully embodying the program already, already being sold out. And when I say fully embody it, I mean in every form of marketing that you put out. So if you do an email, you need to do, be writing that email as if the program is basically already sold out and like just embodying the energy of what that feels like and why you love this program. The other piece of it, Louise, is I would check in on, is there anywhere that you feel like if this program was to fill to capacity of where you planned on it going, are you afraid it's going to be too much work? Because we are so powerful that if deep down we're afraid that like, oh my gosh, if I had 30 women in this or whatever the number is, they're all going to need stuff from me and then it's going to be overwhelming. I'm going to be exhausted. Then they're going to not get the value and they're going to say mean things. If you're having any of those fear come up, fears come up, then subconsciously you have capped it yourself and have blocked anyone else from signing up. So something else to take into consideration. Lastly, not everything I don't even always go with specific numbers right now. Like I've noticed every time that I say I'm having 10 women sign up for inner circle, um, that I hesitate a little bit, even here on this live, because 10 is what I feel drawn to work with at the moment, but it might be seven. It might be 12. Um, long-term I could see myself loving to work with 20 people, but not yet. Um, so I'm not, I'm not specific usually with numbers unless there's like a real clear number that comes through that like, no, this is it. Otherwise I find that we create numbers from ego or from logic, not from soul. Because do you think our soul really cares if there's seven people in our program or 70 or 700 people? No, it just wants to like endlessly serve and blissfully be connected um, to the emotions that we love and desire. So why not live in that space instead of judging the number? So just a couple things to consider. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have other questions, Louise. Oh, and yeah, Brooke, sorry, I should read your question out loud. Uh, Brooke says, what did you do to make the decision, any actions you actually took? The biggest thing was simply the awareness, the realization that I hadn't made one yet. It was like the apple dropping onto my head. It was like, oh, what do I teach? What do I tell my clients? What do we talk about all day, every day? That like nothing works until it's decided, right? I hadn't made a decision. I was still in the like floaty around zone. And the reason I was in that zone is because I hadn't fully decided what I wanted the program to look like. I think there was some part of me that was still like dipping my toe in the pool, pulling it out, dipping my toe, toe in the pool, pulling it out because I knew a bajillion percent. I don't know why bajillion has become my new favorite word. I think I've made it up. I knew a bajillion percent that I did not want to do a traditional one-on-one -on -one package. Um, I knew that in my soul of souls that I don't know if I will ever do a traditional one-on-one -on -one package again. And so anytime that my inner circle, um, which is six months of one-on-one -on -one and six months of access to my, my high level mastermind, my turned on rich and free Academy, anytime that I would feel like as I was designing that, that it was kind of getting close to being similar to my old, one-on-one -on -one package in any way I could, I was like overreacting and pushing it away. And so what I needed to do was step into my power, um, get clear on what I actually did want and take a stand for that. So it was like, no, I don't want weekly sessions. I don't want weekly sessions on my calendar. My ideal clients don't want weekly sessions on their calendar. They would rather just talk to me every day. And so for me to give myself permission that that didn't need to happen without judging it. Um, because here's, let's get real for a minute in terms of the inner circle. This is where, this is an energy thing, not a logic thing. Logically, this, this program, this inner circle is so like, supportive. It's absurd. Um, because there are monthly coaching sessions now. That was the thing that I needed to get shifted this morning so I could make a decision on all of this. There are now monthly sessions included. But in addition to that, you have daily access to me to ask me any questions over voice or text messaging. Cause I check that every day, uh, typically even through the weekends. Um, you have weekly mastermind calls with me. We have ongoing support in the private Facebook community. You have access to every program I've created plus anything I create in the next six months. You have access to all VIP days and retreats, like the level of us spending time together and you going through a freaking massive up level energetically is just absurd. And so I don't know what was in my brain thinking about like, but should there be one more session? Should there be two less sessions? Like that's the BS I was getting myself caught up on instead of just being like, you know what? It doesn't even matter. What do you want? What do you want? Stop trying to figure out what everyone else wants. That's where we get ourselves in trouble. Doesn't matter. What do you want? So Brooke, what do you want in your programs? How long do you want your sessions to be? 
What do you want your relationship to be like? And I had to then choose, because this was the fear, that if I work with 10 totally badass soulmate clients um, who had sessions with me, that suddenly my calendar is going to be booked up. Well, I decided to choose differently. I decided that I have tons of time all the time and that I love working with my clients because of course I do. And every time I have sessions with them, I feel super energized. So I started to choose differently instead of slipping into the fear of like, um, just past experiences that I've had where I used to have a ton of clients in the very beginning and I didn't have free time and I wasn't living free. Um, choosing differently. I now choose that I have as much free time as I desire all the time and respecting my own needs and desires. And so that was the first piece, Brooke. And then once I did that, I made the decision. And the decision, what I actually did to make that was I wrote it down. I wrote it down and any of the fears that came up, I flipped them. Um, so, well, but I, I might run out of time. No, I choose to have all the time I desire. Well, but I might be receiving 400 Voxer messages a day. No, I attract soulmate dream clients and I love to answer their messages. I will be having so much fun with every single message I answer. I shifted every single fear and concern that I possibly had. This is getting hot in here, so we're going to turn on some fan. Let me know though. Questions, questions, questions. Jen, but this week I've been going full on and it's worked well. What is your view on this? There's nothing wrong with going full on. Yeah. I'm not totally sure what you mean with full on, Jen, but I'm not saying like don't do anything and I'm not saying don't do anything. There's a lot of times I go full on for sure. I mean, part of what was going on for me too is I had myself a little overbooked the last couple of days. So I wasn't giving myself the time and space to be able to make the decision because I, I did have coaching calls and Facebook lives and other things that I was doing. No, Brooke, yeah, I keep jumping ahead of my comments. I will get to your question. I can hold myself focused for four seconds. Um, so, Jen, if you've been going full on, it's working. Rock it. Rock it. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with going full on. The thing is, is you're not, you can be in full on mode and taking massive action, but if it feels good and it's coming from a space of fun and joy and love and not I need to do this to make this happen, heck yeah, it's going to work. I work plenty. Like I have no problem checking messages in the evenings and whatever. Like I don't have a lot of weird boundaries around that stuff like I used to. Um, I do what I want when I want. I used to not let myself like, I wouldn't have done this Facebook Live on a Friday afternoon because I should be off the clock at this point. Um, or I shouldn't be working on the weekends. It's like now I just do what I want when I want and it works incredibly well. Brooke, did you add one-on-one -on -one calls or just the voice message and support? No. So yes, there's, that wasn't confusing. No, yes, Brooke. Yes. Did you get the answer? Um, so my inner circle does include one-on-one -on -one calls and it was always going to include some. It's just what I've realized is, <laughs> so I'm just the type who shows up all the time for my clients anyways. And that doesn't always make sense in writing when you're trying to explain a program to someone. I'm like, yeah, we'll just get on the phone when you want to. But that's interesting to like try to explain to people. So what inner circle includes at this point is you have, you have monthly one-on-one -on -one calls plus unlimited voice and text messaging. Plus VIP days, multiple VIP days. Um, I'm doing those almost monthly right now. So you can go to any of those. Uh, Vegas is coming up May 22nd. I've got a two story suite in Vegas. Um, there's five spaces left for that right now. And it's only open to women who are getting signed up for Inner Circle. Um, and there's Turned On Rich and Free Academy ladies who will be there too. So that'll be, um, yeah, that'll be amazing. The next one's here in Colorado. I have lots of destinations picked out, so there'll be lots of that. Yeah, so in addition to that, Brooke, you'll have, the one, you'll have a session with me every month. You'll have access to me every day with all of your questions, anywhere you need support, anywhere you need alignment. We have weekly uh, mastermind calls. Um, you have all my programs. We have this, the group is amazing, the private community. I'm in there multiple times a day as well, so you're kind of just moving in with me. That's what my inner circle is. Would you like to move in with me, Brooke? Would you like to come live with me for the next six months? And anytime that you say crazy things, I'll help you come back into alignment. And anytime you have questions, I'll help you come back into alignment. Um, and then you can just live your truth, make millions, have fun, not stress, all the good stuff. Love it and so true. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, this is going to be a great question. I think it's Jamie, right? Jamie says, what about when you are raising your rates and feel like you're already in that energy, but have a specific date on raising the rates? Should you just change them now? Yes. I'm not going to finish reading your thing. If you are already in that energy, change them now. 
you can give people like 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours. I have found that inspiration in all of this has a shelf life. And so it doesn't work real well in planned out launch sequences. And that's why I've just burned all of those at this point. I'm more than happy. We can sit down and go through a launch sequence and I can show you exactly how it's supposed to be. I'm really good at that. And I would recommend that you immediately wipe the slate clean and burn it after we figured it out. So Jamie, if you're already at a higher price point, increase your prices because here's what's going to happen otherwise. You're not excited, turned on and lit up by your current price point if you are already excited about the next one and fully in that space. So you're going to literally be pushing away sales right now because deep down in your soul, you don't want people to sign up at that price point because you don't really want to do the work at that price point because it feels almost undermining to you at this point. So by you not raising your prices, you're actually pushing, um, pushing clients and sales away. If you feel like it's time to raise the prices now, you could do like a nice little thing and say, Hey guys, you know how I was going to raise the prices in like two weeks or whatever it is. Yeah. My heart says no. So here's what's actually going to happen. I'm going to raise the prices in 48 hours. That means if you've been on the fence, you need to reach out to me now and we need to get your next step situated or figured out or your down payment in or whatever needs to happen because this price is going away forever. Okay. Now I'll go to the next part of your question. I feel like I'm pushing away. <laughs> <laughs> now Jamie's going to say exactly what I just said, which means she's totally in alignment and she knows what she needs to do. And she just came today basically to get the confirmation, right? So Jamie says, I feel like I'm pushing away clients because I'm in between. Exactly. Exactly. Already up leveled into those new rates yet people are reaching out to the current rates. We'll schedule a call and then cancel the call. It's happened three times in the last two days. You're done with it your heart and your soul is taking care of you because deep down it doesn't want to charge those rates and you're already at the next frequency. So let people know the prices are increasing. The other thing is just something to consider. I don't do sales calls anymore. I have, I don't do sales calls anymore. People sign up directly with me over, over messenger. Um, we typically do audio messages back and forth or they'll send me some details in that way. And so there's no such thing as any canceled calls in my schedule anymore or no shows. There's also no such thing as me needing to block off a bunch of time in my schedule for clarity calls. I don't do them anymore. I don't want to get on a clarity call and be sold to by a coach. I just want to sign up for your stuff. If I know I want to work with you, maybe I have a couple questions. So I'll shoot you a message and then I want to sign up. My soulmate dream clients feel the same way. They're like, I don't want to get on a call. Just like, give me the details. Let's chat a little bit over messenger and let's get signed up. So that's something else that any of my inner circle and, and academy ladies get is like, this is exactly how I do it. Here's my scripts. And it's not really scripts. It's just like the outline of what I use. That's what I love the most about working in this way these days is I am so transparent. There's nothing that I won't share or tell you or invite you to check out with me. Like you have my templates, you have all my programs. I'm not going to be like, well, I know you're in my inner circle, but now you need to go purchase this next thing. Like, no, you're my top ladies. You have everything. Like I said, you're basically moving in with me for six months. Months. We're going to hang out and we're going to have fun and we're going to have drinks and you're going to make lots of money and you're going to change lives. And you're going to drop the stress and the craziness. And like, you won't even be hanging out online anymore or be triggered by other people because they are going to feel alien to you. You're like, why do you mean I have to do a webinar and record it to put it into my funnel? Like, what if I just attract dream clients? That seems easier, right? Right, right, right. Um, I've talked about the inner circle a lot. If you guys are interested, and it's 3.33 here, so it seems like a divine time to be sharing this. Um, link is up, up above in the description. That link goes straight to my messenger. It's not going to a sales page. There is no sales page. Something else you don't have to do. Create sales pages unless you want to. Ease, freedom, flow, all of that good stuff is available to you now. If you're interested in working with me one-to-one -one in this high-level way, these spaces will sell out. I'm opening 10 spaces max right now. Um, you will have unlimited one-on-one -on -one with me, daily conversation, da access to daily conversation with me. You're not required to talk to me every day. You can have days off if you would like a day off to like, or you're traveling or something. Um, you'll have monthly coaching calls with me. We have weekly mastermind calls, all access pass to everything, multiple in-person experiences that you can come to anytime that you want to. And that's all the good stuff. That's how it is. It's pure flow. You're right, Jocelyn. It is pure flow. Sierra, Jess, I'm making 20K this month. I'm almost halfway. Fuck yes, Sierra. High five. I'm so excited for you, girl. Um, side note, Sierra and I met a little over a year ago because uh, she does massages as well. And I ran a half marathon and she was giving massages at the end. And so I've got to know her ever since. And she's been in my programs and she's freaking killing it. And it makes me so happy for you, Sierra. I'm so happy for you. 
Um, okay. I'm making 20 K this month. You bet you are. I'm almost halfway and I launched a program. I launched a program next week. That is amazing. I keep waiting to tell you until I do it, but I'm telling you now, tell me now it's already done. Rockstar. I am so happy for you. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God. It makes me so happy. Sierra. Hallie, Hallie, you made your way over from Instagram. Um, my, I'm so glad my social media person reached out to me to go answer your message on Instagram because I'm not always the best at Instagram. I will warn you guys. Um, so I'm so glad that you hopped over. Yay. How do you come? I believe that's you, right? Your picture looks the same. Hopefully I didn't just say the wrong thing, the wrong person. How do you come into alignment in the morning versus at night end of day? Um, I don't really do it end of day. I have a practice that I do every morning. It's in, did you say you had clarity care, Holly? Clarity care would be a really great program to start with. Um, it literally includes an audio that breaks down my entire morning practice, but like in, I pushed these too far in and I can't hear anything. There we go. In a nutshell, what my morning practice looks like is I get up, if I'm feeling somewhat in alignment already, I get up every day and I do basically my writing, my reality, like my I am writing. And I even have a playlist that I'll oftentimes use with it as well. That's kind of like my badass playlist that just gets me charged up and gets me turned on and excited because that's such an important space for me. And then what I do is, so like let's use Sierra for example here. So she's having her first 20K month. So what she would do is say, since I make 20K a month already, my day-to-day -day emotions, my day-to-day -day thoughts, my day-to-day -day feelings, what I'm selling, what I'm launching right now, like all of that is, and then I just free write for about two pages and just let all of that flow out of me. And it changes and adjusts a little bit every day. So it could be things like, since I, you know, as the woman who now makes 150K a month, so funny. I say that and it feels small and I haven't even done it yet. And that's what happens as the woman who makes 300 K a month. Okay, let's go there. As the woman who now makes 300 K a month, it feels so good to have $10,000 come in every single day. I'm so totally lit up, turned on and excited about every single thing on my schedule. I absolutely love and adore working with my clients. I can't wait to get on the phone with my clients today. I can't wait to hop into the Facebook groups. I love checking my messages with my clients every single day. I feel so turned on, so lit up. I'm unstoppable. I'm a force of nature. I'm a badass. I'm a diva. I'm a queen. I'm fearless. I'm showing up in the best way ever. My audience is growing every single day. I'm completely turned on. I'm in the best shape of my life. I have an incredible relationship with my husband. My body heals quickly. I feel amazing. Like I would just do a full on rant of that. And sometimes you can just do it saying it out loud as well, but I would full on rant that in writing, um, either in my journal or on my laptop. That's the first thing I do. Um, if I'm already a bit in a state of flow, if I'm feeling like off for some reason, whether it's like one too many margaritas last night, like hormones, whatever's going on at the moment, or you're just feeling off and you don't know what's going on. Um, I'll do some journaling first. And so I have a lot of different journaling prompts I use, like, um, what does my soul need today? Um, if I was in total alignment and flow, what would that look like? Um, what's coming up right now? Like, I'll just free write first if I'm feeling a little off, and then I'll go into that flow. And then I have a couple um, spreadsheets that I use that track my, my daily income. So I'm tracking income daily. So I'm staying very in tune with not only am I already creating 300K this month, shift that. Not only is $300,000 already done for the month, then getting to see daily what that actually looks like adding up. And then the last spreadsheet that I use is something that's like my, my money manifestation or this has already happened kind of spreadsheet. And what that has is all of my current goals written on the left-hand side. And then the price point for each of those. And some of them are free. Some of them are things like I'm in the best shape of my life. Some of them are things like my list is growing faster than ever. And so I put my Facebook ads budget next to that one. So I basically have a purpose for all of the money. Um, and then as the money comes in over the month, then I put like done next to each thing. So like within the first week, it felt so good because all of my basic expenses were paid. Um, I bought some jewelry. My husband just bought a beautiful watch. Uh, if Lindsay, if She's on here. Lindsay, who's in my Turned On Rich and Free um, community, her significant other has an epic uh, designer watch brand that my husband just bought a watch from. So I was like, okay, these things are already paid. And so as money comes in, it just checks those things off. So that's what I do every single morning, Holly. And then from that space, I write my, my email for the morning or at least for the day. So I know that there's always something coming out of me because I believe in coming into alignment, sharing my message and selling every single day. Um, if I don't want to do that,
then I come into alignment and I let my Facebook lives run because they're being boosted almost all the time. Um, and they do the messaging and selling for me. But for the most part, you guys hear from me almost every day because I want to, not because I need to, right? That's the big shift. And I do all it. So I give myself by mornings. I never have any calls or anything in the mornings because that's my time to make sure that I'm in alignment. So that when I shift to working with clients, um, I'm on, 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 on. Queen, yes, so powerful. I need to own it. So true. I need to shift my energy. Yes, I love the way you coach. I love the ease and flow. Thank you, Queen. Thank you, thank you. Ha, oh, that's where I'm at. Awesome. Keisha, we want to be paid well for our great services. Stay in alignment. Exactly. And then it becomes like not even I want to be paid well. It's like, well, of course I'm paid well. Of course I'm well compensated. Of course. I'm people pay me to be in my presence. Like that's you and that could sound multi, like super diva. But when you start to shift in that space, it gets really, everything gets easier because you're like, people just want to be around your energy. People don't care what you're selling. They want your energy. And that's why it's so important that you share it in such an authentic way, right? Marianne, hey, hey. Yes, Courtney, for sure. Right, right. Our words have massive power. <laughs> Siska, the Tony Robbins community, call him an alien. It's a compliment. I, I take it as a compliment. I'm like, you're right. I'm not from this planet. This is my seventh lifetime. I know I look like a baby, but believe me, I'm really old. I've been through all this before. It's not complicated. Let's not make it too crazy. You can have all the money and all the experiences you want, and you can have them now pretty much with a snap of your fingers. Do you want to know the magic? Because I'm happy to show it to you. <laughs> but yes, I am an alien. I mean, we're all aliens a little bit, right? Stop being soft. Exactly. Exactly. Don't, don't file down your edges. Your edges are what make you unique. Be weird. Be crazy. Be on the edge. It's okay to trigger people. Not everyone's going to love you. And it's okay that it doesn't always feel good. That's okay. The more that I've spoken out, I know that I've started to like either repel people or magnetize people. And that's okay. Courtney, you inspire me. Oh, thank you, Courtney. You guys inspire me. I was thinking about that this morning. I'm like, man, the, the women in my community, this community, to get to be together and to have this space. And like, that's what it's all about. I was, I was thinking about this morning. That's why I will never do a traditional one-on-one -on -one coaching package again, is I think community is so massively important, so massively important. And I'm not saying you have to like hang out in Facebook groups ever, um, except for in the turn on rich and free space. But it's so important. And I see the women inspire each other and support each other and be present with each other. And it's like, that's so much. Theo, you've been on fire these last few weeks. Theo, I have been on fire since January 17th-ish. <laughs> but yes, yes, I have. It just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> I will say, like, God, I have like grown a lifetime in the last 90 days. This year has just been fascinating. So I, that's why I don't get, I don't get too attached to anything. And I mean this in the best way possible is because I know how much I'm up, up leveling all the time. Like I said, guys, with my, um, six month, my six month inner circle, um, I think it's a steal. And I, a few days ago, I did a few days ago, I was freaking out. I didn't know what I was doing. And then my, my client comes along and I'm like, wait, my clients are charging more than me. I need to get my shit together. And stop being such a baby. I know my inner circle is a steal. I know that it could be twice as much. Um, and I could see myself stepping into the space. Like when I align with that higher vision and I'm like, oh yeah, I would totally put out a hundred K package and I'd probably have 50 badass women in it. And then I would also do this and I'd have this TV show and I'd have like, you can, when you're tapping into the higher level, all the other things just feel easy, right? That's what I want for you guys more than anything because then you don't second guess the small decisions and you just kind of live in the space of flow and ease. Now you get knocked out of it or something triggers you, but you have the tools then to come back over and over and over again. And sometimes in the beginning, or if you're making a massive up level, sometimes you're aligning like multiple times a day and that's okay. It's more than okay. Hi, Samantha. So good to see you, gorgeous lady. How do you snap out of it? Lots of ways. One, have a coach. I didn't have a coach for like the last two years. No wonder I was a shit show. <laughs> like, okay, don't just hire any coach. Like hire someone that you deeply believe in. And just like every time you're around them, you can feel your soul screaming yes. Like work with those people, right? So that's one way, Courtney, is if I'm having an issue, I reach out. Um, 
it's a lot of things. Like a lot of times I put out the email yesterday that said I went and ate candy and watched TV instead of meditating. And that's what snapped me out of it. Before the show was over, I was like, oh yeah, I know what I want to send out now. And I know what I want to say. Um, even last night, I still wasn't feeling like a hundred percent. I knew what the next step was and I could have kept trying to figure it out. And instead I went out with my husband. Um, and then had a message, you know, from my coach even. And I was like, by the time I got home and I was like, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. And I woke up this morning and I was like, I'm done with that. That was fine for two days, but that's about the max that I'm ever, ever, ever available. Oh, not even two days. It wasn't two days. It was just like chunks of the two days. I like to be on all the time. I like to feel amazing all the freaking time. That's all I'm available for. And when we get, when we're only available for the best, it makes everything so much easier. And so really, how do you snap out of it? I think personally, one of the easiest, most powerful ways to snap out of it is to have a community and an incubator of women who understand you and don't even care about anything except like seeing your soul and speaking to you in that way and holding you in that space and seeing who you really are. It's so important. Jen, I've been thinking I'd like to sell programs online so that I've got more free time, but I love working one-on-one. -on -one. Can see how the mindset needs to shift on this for sure. So yes, maybe I've been afraid of having too many one-on-ones because of it taking up my time and energy. Exactly. And so Jen, we could look at like, well, what needs to happen here? Like maybe it's even something that you shorten the session length for your one-on-ones or like what parts of your one-on-ones do you not enjoy or do you love all of them and it's time to raise the price point or we could set up some sort of courses to be running in the background like there's nothing wrong with having multiple streams of income but you if there's a true desire there's oh my gosh this is so good I have to share this with you guys because the other day I wrote down something you can see I process my own stuff all the dang time I'm definitely living it there's a desire I had for something that I want literally here's the page. So I don't want to coach in the traditional way anymore. That was a few days ago when I was trying to figure out what I was doing. Not what I'm looking for. All of us have desires. And when we start stepping into really all the more complicated it ever needs to get is if you say yes to soul desires and requirements and no to everything else, you will live the most epic life that's even possible. And so really all it comes down to is learning to trust yourself and have unwavering faith and listen to your soul and say yes to it over and over again. But we all slip on that. And I had something come up and I will find it in my journal here somewhere. Um, something that I desired, something that I wanted to do, but I was second guessing it and it was scaring me a little bit. Here it is. The day before the seventh, it was, I was like, I'm afraid I want this. Everything's working out so perfectly, but I'm afraid that this could happen. Like I was going through that space with myself on this desire that I had. And here's what, the, what came through me. It was like, I wrote this sentence of fear and immediately I heard, do you really think you'd be given a desire that couldn't come true in the most joyful, expansive way? Do you really think you'd be given a desire that couldn't come true, that wouldn't come true in the most joyful, expansive way? That's what came through when I asked, when I was having my little journaling freak out. So same thing with you, Jen. If your deepest desire right now is to work with epic, amazing one-on-one -on -one clients, do you really think it's possible for that not to be available for you in the most expansive, joyful, incredible way right now? It's not like, well, yeah, you do love that, but it's going to come out of price and you're going to have to exhaust yourself and not get paid very much. Like it's absurd, right? Absurd. Hey, Beverly. Ah, oh, Pernil, gosh, your talk gets me so aligned. Fire energy. Exactly. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying, guys, is like, that's the energy you need to be putting yourself in daily. That's when you find someone that, that works that way for you, stay close, stay close, listen to the audios, listen to the videos, get yourself in the inner circle if you're called to work with me in that way. And just imagine what it would be like, like on a daily basis. It's like taking your vitamins, like staying in that space. Hi, Meta. <laughs> Sierra, Live Free Society camp out in the backyard, bonus month included in VIP packages. <laughs> Wait, what? Live Free Society camp out in the backyard, bonus month included in VIP packages. I don't think there's space in my backyard for a camp out. There's a lot of rocks back here. But I like how you're thinking. <laughs> okay, we might do some sort of a some sort of a mountain thing. Maybe a, a veil thing. 
Yes. Awesome. Gosh, thank you. You're so welcome, Jamie. Uh, I love all this. I can't wait to dive into Clarity Cure. Also, you're a badass. Thank you, Brooke. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it's me and you said my name right. Okay, awesome, Allie. Yay. And I've been watching your lives for the past week, but I like reaching out via IG more than Facebook. It's all about ease, right? Clarity Cure will get back. Clarity Cure will get back. Awesome. Yes, start with Clarity Cure for sure. I will warn you guys that my lovely, um, my lovely social media person helps answer most of my stuff on IG. So if you want to talk to me... I'm on Facebook more, <laughs> but then again, she's, she's helps me answer my stuff on Facebook too. Anyone who's a asking questions about, um, inner circle turned on rich and free inner circle and working with me in a one-to-one -one way, you'll get me. But yeah, <laughs> I don't personally answer all of my messages all the time because that would be a lot of messages. But if you're reaching out to personally work with me, you're hundred percent getting me. Um, Sarah, do you find including wishes for others is even more powerful than just aligning with self? I've never thought about that. Yesterday, I set the intention that I would buy my parents. Oh, I get what you're saying. Okay. I set the intention that I would buy my parents a retirement home that will be their first home ever. Right now, they rent my house in Alaska. So cool. Um, I wondered if this would bring more power and energy into the world for me. It's, it's, yes, it can for sure. Because I've done a similar thing, Sierra. It's been really important to me. Like I, I went to my parents recently and I was like, dad, if you want to retire, like if you want to go start not retire. If you want to go start working on something else and not working at this job anymore, I will, I will fund everything. I'm like, I will fund everything for the next year. I, my parents are epic and they're amazing and I love them. Um, but I, something I've always wanted to do is be able to say, guess what? I'll pay off the house or guess what? Let me just cover the bills for the next year. And you guys go be free and think about what you want to do next and what you want to create. So that excites me and fills me up for sure. So I can definitely see where that's coming from Sierra. And that's great. The thing is, is to make sure that you don't just feel more comfortable, um, working to help others because you feel uncomfortable receiving yourself. And so it's like, well, giving a house to my parents is so much more admirable than buying a Chanel purse for myself. And where I want to bring you to is both are equal. That if the soul desires a Chanel purse, great. And if the soul desires um, starting your own foundation and helping people in need and buying a home for your parents, that's incredible as well. But one is not better than the other and one does not get to charge you up specifically more than the other. Now, if that's charging you right now, use it. But really, it all comes back to saying yes to soul desires. So if soul desires Chanel purse, yes to it. Soul desires having building a house for your parents, absolutely. Hi, Tina. Samantha, when I think about what it... I do if I was already making my goal amount per month and I think about what I would be doing, all I can think of is not working. How can I channel that to work related activities? Do you need a break? I mean, let me be clear. In general, I am not like, let's go take business breaks. But here's the thing. If we're trying to figure out what to do all the time, this is kind of why I sent that email out yesterday that said, um, I was trying to figure out this one-on-one -on -one package. And so what I did is I stepped away and I had a handful of Reese's Pieces. I don't even eat candy or watch TV, but all I've told you guys in the last 24 hours is that all I'm doing is eating candy and eating, watching TV. Ah, it's old Halloween candy. It's still in the, oh no, I think it's Easter candy. It's hidden in the closet. Um, sometimes stepping away is the most powerful thing you could do in your business. And so... If I'm not excited to be here right now with you guys, I wouldn't be here. If I felt like I needed to do this to sell something, I wouldn't do it. And I would take some time to figure out what do I actually need? And that question, even Samantha of like, what does your soul need right now? And asking yourself that, like, what does my soul need? And maybe there is like, I'm tired. And I know even for you, Samantha, you take care of a lot of people all the time and have a lot of responsibilities and running your business and your clients and family and all kinds of things. Like you may literally need a week away somewhere that's quiet by yourself so that you can come back into full alignment. Because a lot of times if we're in a space that can throw us out of alignment already, or get your house to yourself for a week with no responsibilities, if that's possible. But it's part of the reason that I love to travel. And I don't travel a ton these days because I adore my home so much. But I love getting into new spaces because you can write a new story if you're getting stuck in your old story. That's what needed to come through. 
when you get into a new space, you can write a new story instead of getting stuck in your old story. So the old story or old belief system is I have to work hard to make money. I have to do things every day. I have to do things that maybe I don't really want to do because that's what I have to do to make money. I have to take care of these people. I have to make things happen. And so sometimes it's like cutting all your hair off, going on a trip, staying in a random hotel, only talking to strangers and like literally rebuilding a new identity a little bit because your identity is what happens on the outside is a reflection of what's going on inside of you and what your identity is. And so if what your everything is saying more than anything is if I had $54 million in the bank, I wouldn't be doing a damn thing. Then I would give yourself a little bit of time to not do a damn thing and give yourself the spaciousness to see what comes up with that. For me, last year, I wanted a break from my business early last year because I had been pushing myself so much and I had so many rules around what I was required to do to make money. Now that I have no rules around that and I get to do whatever I want whenever I want, now I only attract soulmate dream clients and now I want to work all the time because it's one of the funnest things in my entire life. So that's the flip side of it. What do you feel like you help your clients with the most? Like what are the transformations that happen within your clients? My sole job, like my whole purpose on this planet is to help people remember who they are. And when people remember who they are and tap into that magic, everything is instantly possible. And so I don't put up with the old stories. And I can see straight through to the heart and soul of someone immediately. And I'm deeply intuitive. And like one day um, with one of my turned on rich and free ladies, I was getting a spray tan and I was like, Amy's workshop's not going to work because I don't remember the reason, but that's what I was hearing. My client, Amy, I was like, Amy's workshop's not going to work. I need to let her know something, something energetically needs to be shifted here. And I walked out of, and I was like, hold on, Amy, I'm getting dressed. I'm literally just getting out of the spray tan place. Um, And I like got into my car and I opened up my phone and I went into our private community and two minutes before I'd gotten in my car, Amy had posted, my workshop is not working. What's going on? This should be happening. And I, it's just, we're like, my clients and I are on the same frequency. And my job is, is to keep myself totally plugged into the truth of life and to be that outlet for my clients so that they can tap back in and remember who they are and work solely from that space. The results are everything. The results, like, I should, I'm like, dang it, they're on my computer. I would just pull them up here for you guys and start reading them off. That's why I was like, I don't know why I'm not sharing these results. Like, one of my clients, she's like, okay, this stuff works. I've been doing it for 24 hours. Three clients reached out and paid me in full. Two more just reached out. Like money just becomes an after effect and becomes really easy. Um, the client that I was talking about, she was do, uh, my other client, she was doing a different workshop and she's like, why isn't this working? And I was like, is it actually what you want to do? If you were in total alignment and flow, if you were already making 50K a month, is this what you'd be offering? She's like, no, I just thought it was, you know, it was lower price, so it'd sell easily. No. I catch you on that stuff fast because I know and I see who you actually are. And if you're playing small, I don't put up with it. You can just stay there as long as you want to. But if you come to me and you're working with me and you're wondering why something's not working, I'm going to get to the core of the problem fast. We're going to release that block, whether it's a money issue, like a fear of money or pushing people away, or I'm afraid I'm going to have to work too much. Like that's really common. What we've been talking about today. I clear that stuff with my clients fast. That's my skill. That's my, my purpose. My other purpose is I'm a facilitator of ease. I've just realized this this week that I'm super playful and fun and light and all of that. And one of my sole purpose, big purposes on this planet is to literally shift the old paradigm of working hard for money or working hard for anything. Instead, teaching people to tap into their magic so they can manifest and attract whatever the hell they desire as quickly as they want. Here's the other thing I do with my audience, my clients. Um, we, they have access to all the strategy. They have access to what my funnels look like, how I do Facebook lives, what my email marketing looks like, how I do Facebook ads. They have all of that if they need it. And I invite them to choose how they want to sell a program. So if all they want to do to sell a program is Facebook lives, they're not required to do webinars. I will never make anyone do anything. If they, all they want to do is send emails and not do any Facebook lives, that's fine too. But my job is to hold them and to invite them into that space of alignment on a daily basis. And if they're filling out of it, 
to help bring them back, help bring them back, help bring them back, to speak the truth and remind them who they are. I'm happy to answer any more about that. And guys, if there's any of my clients on here, if you would comment for Brooke, that would be amazing. I don't know if anyone, if any of my current clients are on here, but just drop in the comments. What has your experience been like? Let's see, what did Brooke say? What do you feel like you help your clients with the most? Dropping all the bullshit, getting back to the truth, hitting every single goal that they could ever imagine, and then going to the next level of goals that they didn't even know was there. That's what I do. You come to me saying you want to make 5K a month, it'll probably be 50K a month in a month. I'm not saying that's what you're going to be making. That's the space you're going to be stepping into. But you could be making it. Why not? It's just a decision. Once you decide that it's done, it's done. Yeah, if there's any of my lovely clients here, if you guys want to drop any, um, any comments about what you feel like, I keep going back to your quote or your question, Brooke, because it was so perfect. What do you feel like you're helping your clients with the most? Clients, lovely clients, this is a client call. If you are on here at the moment, what do you feel like I help you with the most? Please drop it in the comments for Brooke. I would be oh so grateful. I love, that's something else I affirm. I love and adore my clients. Here's something else I affirm. In my daily writing my reality, I every day affirm that my clients get epic results, that my clients get results as soon as they sign up, that my clients get results before they even start working with me, that people who just hang out in my community and watch my Facebook lives get epic results. I am manifesting for all of you all the dang time. What do you think is going to happen if we work together? It will be epic. We're made of stardust anyway. Damn right, Jocelyn. Yeah, and if you guys are interested, my six-month one-on-one is now open. Um, it's my inner circle. It's monthly private coaching sessions with me. It's unlimited um, support over voice and text messaging, so you have daily access to me. Um, it's weekly hot seat coaching calls, mastermind calls that we do over in our private community. You have all access pass to everything I've created plus anything I create in the next six months. Um, we have a private community for engagement and support and connecting and masterminding over there. There is a hair somewhere here, and I can't see it. Um, and I'm just craving spending a lot of time in person with all of, all of my epic ladies, my top level ladies. So we have a VIP high roller day in Vegas on May 22nd in a two story suite overlooking the strip that you of course get complimentary access to as part of my inner circle. Um, we're going to have an event here in Colorado in June. Um, I'm going to be out in LA in July. So I may do something out there. I'm sure there's going to be something happening in July. I'm craving Ireland, Iceland. I want to go back to, um, Cabo in Mexico. There's this, I have a specific VIP day retreat location picked out there. It's just kind of moving in with me and deciding not to live life like all the humans do and to be the aliens <laughs> and to let it be easy. Oh, by the way, if you're interested in all that, there's a link up in the description or however you're watching this. It's in the description of this video. If you click that link, it goes straight over to my messenger and you can just say, hey, Jess, I want the details on your inner circle. Send me all the goods and I'll send those over. I'll be answering those this afternoon, probably some. Um, and definitely, how is it four o'clock here? I have a massage in an hour and a half. I got to get going, guys. We got massages coming. Um, I'll, I'll be getting back to the messages this afternoon and tomorrow morning. And like I said, there's 10 spots and they will sell out. Sierra, I have grown a lifetime in the last three months. I feel that way too. Thanks for being you. Absolutely. Absolutely. My pleasure, my dear. Do I have a one-on-one -on -one coach? I do. For the first time since the very start of my business, I'm in my own high-level coaching. Hallelujah. It's about damn time, right? But I didn't for the last two years. And I had some of my most successful months a couple of years ago without a coach. You don't need a coach all the time. But if you're going through any form of massive up level and you think you can keep your shit together on your own, think again or expect for it to take a really long time. Been there. That's true about hiring a coach, Jocelyn says. I'm currently paying a coach and I feel so disconnected from her. I've been gaining more from Jessica's lives than my actual coach. That's really bad. <laughs> That's not good, Jocelyn. Yeah, you might might want to do something about that, my love. I'm not, once again, nothing bad about anyone, but if you're getting more, I feel similar, Jocelyn. Oh, you guys, this is why I have, I'm not, oh, you guys, like, oh, you're making me feel so good. No, this is why I have to get this message out there because this makes no sense. This makes no sense. Like, 
we all go through our own things and we make investments. I've made investments myself that were my favorite, but I learned something from them. Right. And so if anything, like you're, you guys are learning so much from it in terms of like being in alignment and only working with soulmate clients and keeping yourself in that space. My, um, my computer is telling me it's going to die. It was totally full. And it's like, you can't just go on Facebook live for an hour and a half and think that you can't plug me in. Fine computer. You're so demanding. Just kidding. Computer. You're my best friend. Don't go anywhere. We will wrap up soon. It's because my husband's gone. I'm like, no, we're not. We're going to be on Facebook Live all day. Now I have to set the computer on the wooden bowl. This is what I use. This is how I actually do my Facebook Lives. <laughs> Bought that wooden bowl at an antique store for $8. It's been the best wooden bowl of my life. I'm going to close this door because I don't really want to announce to the entire community right now everything I'm doing. Okay, guys, I'm going to hop back in here to those comments and then we'll wrap up here. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm so low now. Now it's like a chest shot. We need a book. You guys have no idea what goes into making the perfect Facebook Live. Books, wooden bowls, lighting. Not always. Sometimes I don't use any of those things. Okay. So yes. Yeah. No, I mean, I thank you for saying that you guys, thank you for being honest with me. I'm happy to hear that I provide that sort of value to you. Um, definitely always speak in truth. Let's scoot over. So there's more light and less random things on the kitchen counter. Okay. We're back. We are back. It's true about hiring coach. I'm currently pay paying a coach. I feel so disconnected from her. I've been gaining more. Yeah. And I feel the same. Well, I'm glad you guys are getting a lot from these. Um, I would consider ending your coaching relationship. Something else I've considered, um, the whole contracted coaching relationship. Like if things aren't going well, why are people such a, like, I don't feel like it needs to be that big of a deal. Like, why is it like, I understand the contract. Like you make a commitment and you make an energetic commitment, but if it's not like ideal soulmate everything, why would we do it? I don't even understand. Break up. Geez, yes, I'm like so ready to finish paying her. I know. See, it's like being stuck in a weird contract with a weird partner. We're not going to go into that though because that's a whole other topic. Okay. I don't have space for a camp out. Limiting belief bullshit. Come on. <laughs> okay. Truth of the matter is, Sierra, <laughs> that's true. You are right. Whatever I desire is possible. I don't want to sleep in a tent. If you guys want to come camp out in my yard, I will be sleeping in my bed. You are more than one welcome to come sleep out in my yard. I will warn you, my dogs use that yard to go to the bathroom, so I can't stop that from happening. But Sierra, you are more than welcome. Look, I'm getting shiny. So they've been on here forever, and I've got so worked up. You are more than welcome to come camp in my backyard, Sierra. <laughs> Just bring that gluten-free cider you keep telling me about because I want to try it. Brooke, thank you so much for sharing your journal with us. This is so good. You are so welcome. Open book, guys. Nothing, I mean, literally, nothing I feel like I want to hold back. Not filled. Nothing I hold back. I was thinking more I will buy 12 houses to rent for myself and they can have one of them. Perfect, Sierra. Ideal. <laughs> I want to be able to do that for my parents too. Cool. Yeah, but so Brooke says, how do you get to the point of just trust the cells? I know you have a big following. What do you feel needs to be in place to be the place where cells just become easy? Your mind, your mindset. Brooke, people who signed up for Turned On Rich and Free Academy or even like inner circle stuff have not even, several have not even been on my list. They've randomly seen my Facebook lives and been like, dude, I'm in dig your energy. Like several of them um, weren't on my list at all or were on my list a couple days. That's why all this marketing stuff is a little bit BS. It's like, yes, grow your list, grow your list. Cause it's really the only thing you own in your business. You don't own your Facebook following or your Instagram following or any of that, right? You do own your email list. And so I do believe in, in growing my email list, <laughs> say that phrase 400 times, but I used to be so caught up in like, what are my open rates? And what are my conversion rates and all of this stuff? And now I don't care. I don't even check them now. I don't even know what my open rate is at this point. And I don't care because here's what I know to be true. That if I show up daily and align myself, share my message and sell whatever it is I'm selling at the moment. And in addition to that, I've already decided that I'm the woman who makes hundred K a month. Then that's how life will play out. The end. 
Nothing else needs to get more complicated than that. And so what happens, especially if we're working together, is borrow my faith. If you feel like you're like, I don't even know how that's possible, like borrow my faith, lean into it. What happens is when you're around this kind of energy, not like this kind of energy, like I was like, like I'm a total badass. No, yeah. When you're around this kind of energy with someone who does believe that they're a total badass and embodies that in the most confident, most confident way, it starts to rub off. I left my water on the other table. Ugh, wish my tiny dog could carry my water for me someday. Also, side note, I, why can't they point that direction? That thing over there on the table? Ah, oh, it's like so backwards. The thing on the table is my ottoman. That's what I was using to prop up my Facebook Live. I don't normally keep ottomans on my tables, but in this situation, I did. It's, it's an energetic thing. It's like siphoning off the energy from someone else who truly believes it because it becomes your truth as well, Brooke. Like that's really what you're investing in with a coach. You're not investing in, they're going to teach you the three-step system to success. And if you are, watch out, watch out. Um, you can give it a go. What, if you're investing in someone, invest in someone who has an energy that when they speak and when you're around them, your soul says yes. And the more that you're around that, it's not always going to be easy. And there's going to be some scary moments because you're going to have to start saying yes to your soul desires and requirements on a daily basis. And it's going to freak you out and it's going to expand you and you're going to grow faster than you ever have before. And that's what a massive up level is. And at the same time, the results will start to match that. Yes, Siska. You help us to remind us of our real desires and to get rid of the rules aligned throughout, for sure. Coming straight from the lips of one of my beautiful, amazing clients who I got to have a private session with just yesterday, all the way from the UK, the lovely Siska. Jamie, that is my issue as a healer. People want the tangible results, but people have manifested a car 40K plus months after 2K months, healing their post-traumas and stepping into their own energy. So saying it's whatever they desire is true for me, yet people are resistant to and feel is all fluffy, but it's true. So I used to worry more about this, Jamie, and like needing to have specific results. But I mean, listen to how I just described myself a second ago. I, in the past, I would have been like, I show you how to set up your business and meh, 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 so that you can bring in sales and yay. Like it would have been so um, cliche. And now I'm just like, oh, no, here's what I do. I help you cut through the BS and remember who you actually are so that you can leverage the magic of your soul to attract whatever you want, including a six, if not seven figure business, you know, a massive following, um, whatever it is that you desire. Like I'll give some specifics, but I don't feel the pressure to have the perfect message or have the like perfect tangible result all the time now, because I know that people feel my energy and that's what they're purchasing these days. So I realize, Jamie, it's something we've been taught. It's something I even used to teach. But come to find out, people purchase your energy, not your program. So if you are just fully embodying that energy of who you are unquestionably all the time, I don't care, I don't care about the tangible results as much. Now, at the same time, you just said someone went from a 2K to a 40K month. Let's call that stuff out regularly. It's like, yeah. I don't care as much about the tangible results because when you're doing the work, you understand that the soul of the matter, it's so much deeper than money or any of this, right? And making $106,000 last month was a fun side effect. And seeing my clients sell their first, like one of my clients, she sold her first $2,000 package and she'd always, and they paid in full and she'd always um, given big discounts in the past. And suddenly she felt confident enough to be able to charge at that rate. That's great. Having a client who decided not to sell her $97 workshop anymore and switch into selling basically a $10,000 mastermind. Love it. Pretty great result. Having another client who was putting everything on hold because her wedding's coming up and she's doing a lot of traveling right now. But when we got to the soul and truth of the matter, she actually wanted to put out her own mastermind that includes a VIP day in Italy. So she decided to do it because that's what her soul desired and being in coaching, obviously she can't say no to her soul and turned around and immediately sold two of those spots. Like, yeah, I can give you guys lots of tangible results, but it's just so much more than that. So bring in a bit of both, Jamie, in a way that feels most authentic for you. You being you is what your people want more than anything. Sierra just teaches females because business is taught in the masculine. She is the only one who teaches this way that I have found. And I find a lot, I have to see more. There we go. Oh, I love this, Sierra. And I find a lot and I use a lot and I move a lot. She is it. I'm making 20K this month because I did what she told me when it felt completely like I was lying to myself until this month when it feels like, of course, just helps you remember you get to choose everything. And anyone who tells you you have to follow three steps, five steps, eight secret bullshit steps is lying. If it works, 
if it works, cool. But if not, that isn't for you. She gives permission, which you don't need, but sometimes we need to remember that. Truth, 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 truth. I'm going to try to take a screenshot of that just in case anything was to happen. I want to be able to reread that for myself. Thank you, Sierra. That's beautiful. Same here. Yes. Holly, is Inner Circle different than the one-on-one Turned On Rich and Free Academy? Nope. Same thing. So there's, there's two, technically there's two options. There's Turned On Rich and Free Academy, um, which going forward will not have any one-on-one. So anyone who signed up early got a couple one-on-one sessions with it. Going forward, it will not. And technically, it's not even really open at the moment. Um, it probably will. It's just not really, it's not my focus right now. My focus is the ladies who are in Turned On Rich and Free Academy, but the inner circle is my one-on-one my next level of, of Turned On Rich and Free. So there's two levels of it, basically. Turned On Rich and Free Academy gets you access to the weekly mastermind calls. It gets you access to the private community. It gets you access to all of my um, programs. Inner Circle is the next level from there that gets also gets you access to um, monthly private coaching sessions with me, unlimited um, voice and text messaging with me that I check on a daily basis, um, first access to any VIP days or retreats that I do, all of the extras. That's a great question. Yeah, I potentially um, confused the bejesus out of everyone. And why? Because I was confused myself the last couple of days. And now I'm clear so I can clearly explain to everyone else how this actually works. Your house is so nice. Thank you, Courtney. This, um, this house was built by, the, by this business, 100%. Um, 100%. It's freaking magical that we get to live here. We built this house from scratch. And it's one of these things where I know miracles are possible. This house is one of them. And even like we just got our backyard finished landscaped and we, it wasn't even something that we felt like we could do last year. Cause we're like, well, we need to make more money. And that was pushing off a soul desire. And then this year, last month, we're like, it's time to do the yard. And it ended up being $16,000, which I didn't expect. And so the guy showed up and we had to write a check for 8,000. I was like, okay. Normally I would have freaked out about this, but I can feel aligned and in tune with this in this moment instead. And because it's a soul desire, I know that the income will return to me swiftly and exponentially. And within 24 hours, the other 8,000 had showed it up in the bank account easy. That's how it works over and over and over again. And it sounds crazy and that's okay, but I hold the faith because that's my job and my purpose on this planet. And we all just hang out and you guys can just keep tapping in, tapping into the energy and it'll get easier and easier. And then you'll be like, Sierra, where she's having a 20K month and freaking killing it. One of my other clients, she's um, a photographer and um, she's been doing some branding as well. And she's like stepping into 30K months now. One of my other clients, the one who's a newer coach, that she's like, yeah, she's going between 20 and 50K. That's the space. 20K is too small for her though. Like that's the thing. I can see, I, I can typically fill what your energetic space is and where you're going. And I invite you to step into that. Now, there's no hurry, but I see you for who you are and you can't get away from me. I see who you are. Don't you play small around me. You're a visionary and you're meant to do big, massive things. My daughter is pushing the thumbs up. Oh, I love that. She is three. That's so sweet, Courtney. Thank you. Jess, I will make you a video testimonial. I was thinking about it last weekend if you want one. I would love that. Thank you, Sayara. That's so kind of you. That's the community. That's how it is. Soulmate dream everything. Soulmate dream clients. Soulmate dream clients programs, soulmate dream income, soulmate dream homes and environments and travel and relationships and all of it and health and being in the best shape of your life. All of it, all of it, all of it. Yes. At the surface level, it looks like crazy mumbo jumbo mindset stuff to help you make money online. Yeah, we do that. We do everything else as well because we are masters of the universe and that's what this community is all about. And here's how it's going to look. We're creating a revolution and it's just getting started and Turned On Rich and Free is going to set everything on fire and how people think that business needs to be done. And people are going to start to notice. People are already starting to notice. You guys even just bringing up what the energy is like in these communities, right? And they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, I remember when she used to do all those webinars. I remember when she used to say I had to do it this way. I remember when it used to look complicated, but these days, Brooke, or did you just say, oh, I just saw your, saw your name first, Brooke. I didn't get to see your comment. Brooke or Sierra or Amy or Stephanie or Linda or all of these amazing women that I get to work with. I remember when things didn't look like this for her, but suddenly everything she touches turns to gold and I just feel magnetized to her and I want to be around her all the time. That's what this is about. That is the revolution that we're starting. And that's the energy of this space. There's nothing like it 
and you can't even fully explain it. You can only feel it. It's the best way I can put it. All right, Brooke has the final question. That's where I'm confused because my energy is contagious and people are magnetized towards me because of it, yet I'm still not creating 10K months consistently and I don't know what to do differently. So my energy is there, but something isn't. Yeah, but there's still this fear, right, Brooke, that something, there's, you are magnetic for sure. So you could shift into something massive relatively quickly. And in all honesty, 10K isn't your frequency. You're freaking higher than that. You're probably closer to at least a 30K all right now. That's what I would say. And so, and I can feel it immediately. Did you constrict? Did you freak out? Like, we're not going to push you there, but if you've been focusing on 10K, I don't think it's your, I don't, I'm not even sure it's your next level, love. I know that you're, you're higher than that and you're next level. And like you said, you're meant to be a visionary leader. There's more than that available to you. And so if you've been shooting for this smaller piece, that's not where you're at. And so if we're shooting for the next step, when who we actually are is an epic visionary, wait, what's happening? Why are Courtney, did your daughter get a hold of the phone? She's throwing all the angry faces now. <laughs> yeah, now we're laughing. Now, we're, uh oh, I'm going to say Courtney's three year old daughter has the phone. Now she's very surprised. <laughs> oh my God, this is hilarious. I would have been freaked out, except Courtney's been pure happy the rest of the Facebook Live for her to suddenly switch into being pure anger is unlikely. Um, I need to see the last thing. So my energy is there, but something isn't. But is the energy aligned with that specific number? Because if they're still, oh no, yep. <laughs> yeah, your daughter was not a fan of that, Courtney. She's like, no more, no more, mom. <laughs> um, there's a couple things that could be going on. So it's bigger. I swear it's bigger, Brooke. That's what's coming up consistently. It's bigger than what you're focusing on right now, and you're getting caught up in the details instead of being in the bigger vision. So if you were living in the vision of the woman who makes 30K a month or 50K a month or 100K a month, how would you be showing up? Where would you be spending your time? What would you be offering? Would you feel nervous about things or worried about money? Not a freaking chance, right? So there's still too much of your frequency is still living down in this space of will it happen and I need to make it happen because once it happens then I'm good enough or whatever versus stepping into who you actually are, which is the 30K woman. And of course you have the 30K woman, 50K, whatever, but 30K is what I keep hearing. Um, because of course you're magnetic. Your energy is amazing. You have incredible energy. You are magnetizing. So now it's time to make that decision within yourself that if 10K hasn't been happening, it doesn't mean that you need to wait there until it happens. It's probably time to go a little further. And so I would love to get my hands and eyes all over what's going on and help you align to what that bigger level is, drop all of the fear and show up as the epic leader that you're meant to be. <laughs> That's amazing. Sierra, my target by June 30th was to make 5K per month. It wasn't working. I was there and not and there and not. I started working with Jess and for no reason I decided 20K felt better. That was the turning point for me if that helps. Um, this is a fun game, Jess. Tell me what number you get for me. Oh yeah, I... Lorraine wanted me to do this the other day. You've already got your number, Sierra. It's not always, it doesn't always work like that. You've already got yours right now. I think you're rocking it with that. So, because you already discovered it, Sierra. So you were in a space, exactly, actually, everything you just said in the comments there. You were shooting for 5K because that felt like the next place, right? But then when you got clear and you tapped into the energetic space, you heard 20K and you didn't even know why. In the past, I wouldn't have allowed that for myself or anyone or my clients. I'm like, you need to have a specific reason for the money. Now you don't. No, your soul knows what it's called towards and you use those numbers. It's less even about the number. It's more about the feeling it gives you. And that's why right now I'm kind of playing between hundred K and 300 K. Um, and because I, I kind of, what makes me feel most turned on and at ease. If I hang out at 300 K too much, I have noticed myself stop, start to get into the house of it, which means it's still just a little bit high for me, but it won't be soon. Whereas if I talk about hundred K a month, it actually feels a little bit boring to me now because it's already happened. So there's somewhere between those two that I'm playing right now. And so same thing with you. I was shooting for like 40 K last year and didn't hit it. As soon as I started shooting for hundred K, I hit 40 K in the first month. Exactly what Sierra is saying. She was shooting for 5k and then 
you know, it wasn't going quite how you wanted it to. And then when you shift to 20, it was like, boom, 5K has already happened, right? Sounds like you're closer to 10K already for the month. Same thing with you, Brooke. What's the true essence? What's the true desire? What well, I'm coming over with my tent. I give any number. Sierra knows where I live. <laughs> if, I, if I get kidnapped, it's Sierra, 100%. <laughs> Or we're drinking gluten-free cider because she has some delicious brand with hops in it that I want to try. I am around, Sierra. Luke is gone. He's camping. Um, okay. It's 20K right now. Yeah, exactly. It's 20K right now. And it may even shift for you. It probably won't shift for you by the end of the month because you're in that frequency and you're embodying that and you've decided it's done. But like you said, in August it changes. How, why would it be in August? What about June? It could, it could change sooner than August. You could be done with it by June 1st. So just stay open to what, what comes up. Next live will be Sierra and Jess drinking cider. Yay! The Jessica Good Sierra drinking cider show. <laughs> and, and as a client, this is how I will treat you. In an incredibly professional manner at all times. And I will make you feel like you need to be super perfect like me. And <laughs> no. No, this is how we actually work together, right? Because it's like this energy is high vibe. This energy is 100K. This energy is the millionaire energy. It's not like you suddenly become a professional entrepreneur and you put on your like three-piece suit and you grab your suitcase and like, or whatever, your little bag, and then you do professional things. Like, no, this is high vibe. This is what the new millionaire looks like. This is what the next level woman looks like. It's easy and it's fun and it's playful and that's how it is. And with that, we are going to wrap up this almost two-hour Facebook Live. The end. Okay. I've had so much fun connecting with you all. Say hi. Yeah, you're on your way. When Courtney's done, Courtney stayed for the whole thing. So Courtney and I were out. If you guys want to keep hanging out here in the comments, do so. Um, if you guys are interested in working with me one-to-one, -one, my inner circle is open. The link is up above that goes straight to the messenger. It doesn't go to a sales page. There is no sales page. I'm not even using sales pages for stuff like this anymore because those are work. And why would we make it complicated? Let's make it easy. If you're interested in working together one-to-one -one at this top level way in my inner circle, which is the Turned on Rich and Free inner circle, um, just click the link that's in the description, go straight to my messenger and just say, hey, Jess, I want the details on your inner circle. I'll send those right over. You can look them over. There's no pressure at all. Um, there's only 10 spaces available. These will sell out. These will sell out fast. I know it now because the decision has been made and I can fill it now. Um, and I can't wait to work with you who are ready to work together in this way. All right. To my visionaries, to my legendary women who are changing the world, evolving the planet, incredible, creating incredible lives for themselves in the process to living free my loves. I will see you soon. This is Jessica K. Berlindle.